Now this is a puzzle. You have to start at uh, 1000 or you start with $1000. This is your starting point and you can take any of this path and uh, along the dial you can't go backwards. This is the way you go. So and uh, you have to end with $980. So you can go from A to B to C to end or you can go from A, uh, B, C, D, G and end whichever way you go uh, you have to re end with $980 so let us start with the easiest path A C A B C end so we start we start of course here so I'm writing A we first will go to A and then from A we'll go to B from B we'll go to C and from C we'll end so let put that path uh, reaches to the goal of 980. So this is a good exercise of increasing or decreasing by a percent. So 1000 when you're decreasing by 80, 20 percent, how much is remaining? You're finding uh, 80 percent of this. Okay, so I'll do the working here. So one when you are decreasing this by 80%, you go 1000. You can do in two ways. Of course, let us do both the ways. So first, so to find 20%, or you can find 20% of 1000. 20% of 1000. 10% is 100. So 10% is to divide this by 10. So 20% would be $200 or 200. So if you decrease this by 200, when you reach A, you will end with $800. Okay, so at A, you will have $800. So let us write 800 here. Okay, now from A to B, you have to increase 10%. So 10% is, uh, okay, now a different way of doing the same thing if you want to do in one step, so this is, I call this two step. First you found 20% and then you decreased uh, 1000 by $200. So 1000 take away 200 is 800. So if you think in a different way, this is same as saying when you're decreasing something by 20%, what is reducing or what is, re, uh, what is remaining is 80% of this. So 80% of 1000 is 800 okay 80 percent of 10 percent is 100 so 80 percent is 800 that's the smarter way of doing it okay so from a to b you have to increase 10 percent so 10 percent when you're increasing by 10 percent this is if you add 10 percent to this that is 80 dollars so when you reach b you will have 800 and eighty dollars so I'll write eight hundred and eighty here so when you reach B you will have eight hundred and eighty dollars okay now from B to C you have to increase by five percent okay so ten percent ten percent is how much of this ten percent is divided by ten which is eighty eight so four five percent is half of ten percent so 10, 5% would be 44. So you have to take away 44. Okay. So, and if you take away 44, uh, oh, sorry, you have to increase by 44, not decrease. So this is increasing by 5%. So if you add 44, 8, 880 plus 40 is 920 plus 4. So when you reach C, you'll have 924. So when you reach C, you'll have 924. And of course, if you decrease this again, so you're not going to uh, get to the destination with this 980. So we don't even need to calculate this. So this is not the right path. Okay. So let us take the, let us take the next path. Okay. So can we do the next path? Yeah. Okay. So next path that I'm taking is, a, D, G, and end. Okay, so let me use a different color. I'll start with from A. I'll go to A. Then I'll go to D. 
from A you can go to D and then I'll go to G and then I'll go to end okay again this is again a good exercise of increasing and decreasing by percent okay so we know at A we are with $800 now to go to D you have to decrease by 15% okay so 10% is 80 10% is 80 so 5% so let us let me write that so 10% is 80 so 5% is 5% Five percent. If ten percent is eighty, five percent would be using logic that would be forty. So fifteen percent would be how much? Fifteen percent is one twenty. Okay, so let me rub this off. So fifteen percent is one twenty. So you had increased by one twenty, yeah. So let me write here plus one twenty. So if you add 120, when you reach D from here, you are uh, having an 800. Oh, you have to decrease, sorry. Again, I'm getting confused. So this is not increasing. You're decreasing by 15%. So you're decreasing. So 800 take away 120. Okay, so let me 800 take away 100 is 700. And then take away 20. So when you reach D, you will reach with 680. So let me use a red color. When you reach D, you will have 680 from year. So I'll write 680 here so that we remember. So from year to year, you're uh, having 680. And now what will happen? You'll increase by 10%. So 10% of this is 68. So you'd add 68. So 880, 680, sorry, 680 plus 60 is uh, 680 plus 68. So let us do that. 680, I can't do. Uh, I should be able to do it, but I can't do it now. So this is 8 plus 6 is 14. This is 748. Okay, am I right? So when you reach from here, I'll write 748 underneath this. So this is 700 and. 48. Now from 748, if you go to, if you decrease by 25%, you're obviously not going to get 980. So this path is also not going to work for us. So I'll write, at this path I'll write 748. And I'll not go to, obviously this is not going to reach us the actual destination. Okay, let me change color. So what's the next part that we can take? We can go from 1000 start, you can go to E, F, G, end. So let me write E, F, from E, you can go to F, and from F, you can go to G, and from G, you can go to end. Will that be the path that we are looking for? Okay, so this is increasing by 40%. So increasing by 40%, this is increasing by $400. 10% is 100. So 40% is 400. So when you reach here from here, it's 1,400. Okay. So when you reach E, you are having 1,400. Now you have to decrease by 5%. 10% is 140. Okay. So let me write 10% is equal to 140 so what will be five percent so five percent is half of 140 which is 70. so if you take away 70 how much would you get okay so that's take away uh you take away 100 so 1300 and then add 30. you're adding taking away more so if you take away 100 you'll get 1300 so you're taking away 30 more. So this will be 1330. So when you reach F from here, you'll have 1330. So I'll write 1330 here, 1330. And here you to increase by 50%. Okay, that itself, okay, let's try. So what's 50% of this? That's half of this. Okay, so when you're increasing this by 50%, what's half of 1330? Uh, half of 1300 is 
650. Okay, let us use the calculator. So 50% is nothing but half. So I will go 1,300 and let me move the calculator slightly up. 1,330 divided by 2. That is 50%, which is, oops, 1,330 divided by 2, not take away 2, which is 665. Okay, to move this, so this is 665. So, yeah, you had to increase by 665. And you increase this by 665, how much would you get? This is 1995. And this is 1995. And then you had to decrease by 25%. So, if you take away 25%, okay, so you're finding, so I'll show you a different way. To find 25, decreasing by 25% is same as finding 75% of this. So you can go from year to year by multiplying by 0 0.75. Because 75% as a decimal is 0 0.75. So let me show this on a calculator. So we were at 1,995 times, times 0 0.75. 75. That will not be a neat number. 1496.25. So when we go this path, this way, that will be 1496. 96.25. 96 0.25. So this is not the answer. So when you go to G, you have 1995. And when you reach end, that is not what you want. Okay, let us look at one more path, which is our next path that you can go. So, well, this is one path from E, you can go to D and C and then end. So, you can go from E and you can go to D. From D, you can go to C. And then you can go to end. Hopefully, this should give us the answer. Let's see. So we already know when we are at E from start, it's $1,400. Okay, now you decrease by 30%. So decreasing by 30% means you're finding 70%. So 70% as a decimal is times 0 0.7. Okay, so let us use the calculator. So it's 1,400 times 0 0.7 which is 980. So when you reach here, from here, you have 980. Okay, so this is, when you reach D, you had 980 from this path. Now you have to increase by 25%. So when you want to increase by 25%, you have this 100% and the increase of 25%. So you have to find 125% of this. So you have to times it by 1.25. You have to times it by 1.25. Okay. Okay. So this will be uh, 980 times 1.25. That will give me 1,225. So this, let me use, let me delete this. So this will be confusing. This was, this was the first part that we took. So let me Take, oops, uh, let me use a smaller eraser. This is 1,225. So when you reach, you get 1,225. And finally, hopefully, and you decrease this by 20%. So let me erase this. This is coming on the way. Okay, so when you want to decrease this by 20%, you have to times this by 0.8 because you're finding 80%. When something is reduced or decreased by 20%, what is remaining is 80%. So again, let us use a calculator. 1,200, oops, 1,000. The calculator is not working. Okay. Okay. Mm, I have to, okay. Why this is 
Okay. Okay. So I hopefully uh, you can complete this. And when you multiply, I can't get my pen working. So if you multiply 1,225 by uh, your by 0.8, you will get 980. So that's the right path. From E, you have to go to D, and from D, you have to go to C, and then from C, you go to end.